What's up everybody? Welcome back to Rockland. Today we're going to be doing episode 5. Today we should be focusing on Kisaburo, I believe. Um, so let's jump right into it guys, but before we get into the actual gameplay, just a reminder if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Leave a like, leave a comment, I tend to respond to every single one. Appreciate you guys being here, let's continue on with the game. I'm enjoying it immensely. I think this is his room right here. I think a higher dosage would help with these recent hallucinations. You can get more rest and feel better overall. I am not hallucinating. Kisaburo, you can't keep going outside. Why not? I'm a grown man. If I want to leave, I can leave any time. It's not safe out there, and you're destroying hospital property. I have to fix the train. It's my job. You can't keep taking my tools away from me. I'm running out of time. I have to tell her something. I have to tell her. Dr. Kenji is going to be observing you for a while. Please know we're doing all we can to help you right now. Hmm. Okay. Can we talk to him? Oh, hey, kid. Seems you're the only one who listens to me these days. Everyone else thinks I've completely lost it. Okay. Sometimes when a patient's body, some these sort of things are never easy. Okay. Thermometer. Okay, so then it looks like we probably need to go back here, talk to Jackie about getting the pickaxe, because it looks and seems like the pickaxe is the next thing that we're going to need. Okay, so this is... Maybe if we talk to him here? Because this is him. What's up? I know it looks like I'm relaxing here, but it's more like solitary confinement. What do you mean? Well, a long time ago I fell ill, the kind of ill that no legal doctor could cure. So I visited Morizora a while back when he was still awake. He told me to soak here in this hot spring to regain my health. That was a long time ago, and he's since fallen into a deep slumber. I've come to accept my fate, though. I worry for my family once I'm gone. Can we help you? I hate asking for help, but seeing as Morizora has commanded me to stay here, I guess I have no other choice. My wife, Kazuko, and I run a little tea shop to the west of here. Ever since I got sick, she's had to run the shop all by herself, which is no small task. Perhaps if Kazuko had a couple extra helping hands, it might ease the burden a bit. Do you think you could visit her at our tea shop west of here and see if she needs help with anything? Yeah, totally. Of course, we'll help out however we can. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to both of us. Okay, so we'll start here. We'll see if this is actually the way to start. But at some point, we are going to need to go talk to Jackie and hopefully get a uh, pickaxe. Kazuko. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Midnight Tea Shop. How can I help you? Can we help out? You want to help? You mean like you're looking for a job? Well, not exactly. Your husband, Kisaburo, asked us to see if you needed anything. He actually said that to you? Wow. Well, I guess I could use some help with a couple things. Business has been slower these days. I guess I'd feel a lot safer if we could get just one more big tea contract. I do have a customer in mind. His name is Monsieur Bud, and he holds regular tea events that require lots of tea. I'm sure I, if I could bring him a sample, he'd be our customer in no time. Unfortunately, I'm the only employee, so I can't really leave the store right now. If I could leave, I'd also visit our neighbor to pick up some dragon ash for this flower I'm going here. A Hikaribana. Well, good eye. It is indeed a Hikaribana. She's grown quite a bit, however, I don't think she'll bloom without that dragon ash. Anyways, so you'd really like to help? Okay then, would it be too much to ask you to go into my go in my place? 
to bring Monsieur Bud a sample of our tea and to pick up some dragon ash from our neighbor. We'd love to help. Oh, thank you so much. You'll find Monsieur Bud in the Skylands. A beanstalk west of Liebel Village should take you there. You can give him a sample of tea from this gourd. You received the gourd of midnight tea. Our neighbor lives in the cave right outside our shop. Occasionally the entrance to her cave gets blocked by fallen rocks, so you might need to find a pickaxe to clear them. If you ask nicely, I'm sure she'll give you some dragon ash. Her name is Stormy, and she's a great water dragon. Try not to be intimidated. Good luck, and thanks again. Okay, so first things first, we need to try and get a pickaxe from Jackie, right? Um, so we gotta go back through here, right? Okay, I don't know about that area. Alright, so first things first, let's try to go back to uh, the main village area. Which just means that we need to go back this way. And back up through here. There we go. Okay, so let's go talk to Jackie. Let's see what we need to do to get a pickaxe. It might be something that we do afterwards, but still. Welcome back guys, what can I do? Pickaxe. I'm sorry, you can see the sign next to me if you'd like to know what materials are required to make something. Okay, pickaxe is camphor sticks. Okay, five sticks, three nightstone, oh crap, yeah. Five sticks, three nightstone, three lumen rock. Okay. Let me just talk to him again. You don't have the right materials. Okay. So, where does this lead again? It just goes to a chest. Uh, let's see what we do have. Okay, so we need five of the Cal four sticks. We only have one. Um, we don't have any nightstone, and we don't have any lumen rocks. All right, so now the beanstalk has grown. Now we should be able to climb it, and we should be able to get to the tea house now. Nice. Okay. What is all this? Oh, okay, so this is where we get the resource from. And what was that thing? What was that? It is nightstone. Okay, cool. So I need three nightstone and three of something else. Some kind of stick. There's a chest there that I can't quite get yet. What is that? Is that the lumen rock? Okay, it is a lumen rock. Okay. Alright. So. Let's keep going. These should be the sticks that we're needing for the pickaxe, which is the next part of it. Okay. I'm just looking around and collecting resources right now. I don't see any other nightstone. Here we go. More resource. Okay. Looks like there's another lumen rock over here. Okay. More sticks. else over here? Not that I can tell. Okay, let's go up to the top side first because there's some lumen rock and nightstone up there. Okay. 
Oh, that's a tea house. Okay, cool. Newman rock, night stone. Let's see if there's anything hiding up here. There is. 25 gold. And now we need to check the bottom. Because we still need one more of each of the stone. And I want to say one more stick, so maybe one of each. So let's keep going this way. Okay. Sticks, berries. Let's see where we're, we're actually at. Two nightstone. Okay, so we only need one more nightstone. And we have enough sticks. So we just need the nightstone. Let's see what's in here. Boom. Okay. Awesome. So we have enough for the pickaxe now. A flower marble. And we have another flower for soup. Awesome. So we have everything that we need. And now we can actually go into the tea house. Very nice. These environments are just like super pretty to look at. And that's because I'm playing in full screen. I'm sure if it was in a much smaller window, it'd be much nicer too. Let's talk to you. Are you looking for Monsieur Bud's afternoon tea? Uh, yes. It's just up these stairs. Enjoy yourselves. There we go. Are you Monsieur Bud? Alfred, I didn't get you this job so you could just goof off all day. First a stink bomb, and now these preposterous drawings. Maxwell Howell, the second you stop this behavior at once. Lil Buds, not Maxwell. My name is Lil Buds. Oh my god. Lil Buds. What? Why in the... You're acting like a hooligan. And yes, I'm going to give him a British accent. Dad, you gotta chill. You're going to be chilling in your bedroom in the next two weeks if you don't clean up your act. But dad, I'm serious. If you mess around one more time, you're grounded. Now come with me and behave yourself. You have a job to do. Yes, dad. So Lil Buds is the butler's uh, son. Nice. Is that Lil Buds? Wow, mom. This place is really fancy, isn't it? You're right, dear. This must be where Monsieur Bud lives. Sugar baby. Wow, I've never seen you guys before. Where did you come from? Are you going to stay for the Monsieur's afternoon tea? Oh my god. Rupert. Sugar baby. Yes, Rupert. More food from the kitchen has gone missing. Oh no, what did they take this time? Only the Monsieur's absolute favorite dish. Pecan pull apart. Sila berry crumble. Not the crumble. Yes, sugar baby, they took the crumble. We must be on high alert until we figure out who and where this food thief is. Who are these outsiders? Oh, these folks, they are, um, they're from, uh, they're my cousins. <laughs> cousins? Your cousins? Oh yeah, my cousins, they're, they're totally cool, I've known them my whole life. Hmm... Well, I guess if they're your cousins, it should probably be okay. But you'd better keep an eye on them, I don't want anything else to get stolen today. Yes, of course, Rupert. I love this area, this, this area is pimping so far. Phew, that was close. My name's Sugar Baby, well, my real name's actually Ethan. But everyone calls me Sugar Baby because my l it's my job to bring people sugar cubes for their tea. You guys aren't from around here, are you? I've never met creatures from across the Great Sea before. Wow. You both look so cool. I mean, look at those arms. Your arms have, f your arms have five little arms going out at the end of your arms. And you have brown grass growing out of the top of your head brown grass. So cool. So, what brings you guys to Monsieur Bud's? 
We were hoping we we were hoping he might try some of the special tea. It's the best tea in all the forest. Ooh, the monsieur loves new teas. I'll take you to see him right now. Oh wait. Hmm. Boogies, boogies. Are you okay? Normally this would be easy, but there's a slight problem. As you could probably tell from what just happened, someone has been stealing food from the kitchen. And until we figure out who is the thief, who the thief is, Rupert, he's my boss, is not going to let anyone near the monsieur. Sorry guys. Unless maybe you guys can help us help us find the thief. We're short staffed today, so I bet I could get you guys a job here. You mean we'd get to work here? In this big mansion? Yeah, it's pretty easy. People ask for tea and you deliver it. Plus, you get to eat a ton of free food. Strawberry cake sandwiches, silo berry jam, you name it. That sounds great. I bet since you're new, the buds would love to gossip with you. Just do a good job and they'll talk with you and tell you stuff. I bet you could get all sorts of information that way. If you can help us find the thief, I'm sure the Monsieur would drink your tea. What do you say? Will you help us find the thief? I could help get you that job, no problem. Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah. Okie dokie, come with me. First we gotta ask Rupert if he'll hire you. Okay, this part, this, this is honestly my favorite part of the game so far. These freaking buds are amazing. Oh my god, is that a freaking tomato? Hey Rupert, this had better be important. It is. I have great news. You found the crumble thief? Not quite, but it's still good. You know how Lester and Flora called in sick today? Ugh, don't remind me. Today is not the day I want to be short-staffed. Well, worry not, Rupert. My cousins can take their place. Hmm. Your cousins. I thought they were just visiting. Do they even have any experience with waiting tables or with tea? Do they have any experience? What kind of question is that? Why, where they come from, they are practically famous for serving tea. <sighs> so, what do you know about tea? Well now, that all depends. What would you like me to tell you about? Are you serving ceremonial grade matcha or just premium? Do I smell a blend of silver tips and dried silo berries? I certainly hope you're keeping the water temperature no hotter than 180. Hmm, I'd suggest putting out some honey and fresh cream for that Assam you have. And good choice with the pu... pu... puer? I don't freaking know how to say that. It'll help balance the heaviness of these desserts. Hmm. Fine. Okay, they can work here. Yay! But if anything goes wrong, I'm holding you accountable, sugar baby. I understand. The smaller one can work as a tea server. Take him and show him the ropes. Yes, sir. And since the taller one seems to have an extensive knowledge about tea, I'll have Alfred show her how to assemble the special tea leaf blends. Alfred? Yes, sir. We have a new tea specialist to fill in for Lester. Please escort her to the kitchen and see to it that she knows where all of the leaves and ingredients are kept. Yes, sir. Right this way, ma'am. You can do it, Mom. Thanks, dear. Have fun out there. You too. Very nice. Well, what are you two waiting for? Go get your uniform on and serve that tea. The guests are waiting. Yes, sir. My room's just up ahead. I'm so excited you get to work here. It's going to be so much fun.
You can wear Lester's uniform, it's over there on the bed. The red bow tie is the best part. When I grow a little bit bigger, I'll get to wear a red bow tie too. Anyways, go ahead and get changed. I'll meet you back in the servants' quarters. That's the room where Rupert is, and the free desserts. Ho oh, ho ho. See you soon, my new buddy. Alright. So, change into the uniform, guys. Alright, let's look around a little bit. Avant-garde style painting of the Monsieur. Anything here? Nope, nothing for us to interact with. Can we enter any of these? Door is locked. This one opens. Look inside. Stacks and stacks of powdered white wigs. 25 gold. A stack of books. Wig whimsy. Why powdered white wigs are no longer for the 18th century composers. Book 2, The Dignified Bud. Five easy steps that will take you from uncouth dud to gentle bud. And a Pink Man Don't Bloom, a guide to being the perfect gentle bud. Nice. I, I love the freaking dialogue and humor and just wittiness of this game so far. It's been fantastic. Okay, nothing there. You found an NHB concept poster. Okay. Tea time, a little Bud's remix. Work me to the bone, all day serving scones, and the boss in the white wig won't leave me alone. I got 18 hour days and they call it overtime, but they're paying me in tea. Now that, I call that a crime. So I'm hanging up my apron, turning in my shoes. From now till the end, I'll be kicking rhymes to you. And to everyone out there, if you're really feeling me, throw your pedals in the air and we'll be pouring out your tea. Chorus, say, tea time. We don't want no tea time. So this is a little buzz room. Alright, so then it looks like we're done in this area. Let's go back out to the main room. There he is. Oh, you look sharp. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to be a tea server. To be honest, it's pretty easy. You just go around the party and ask the guests if they want tea. If they do want tea, try to find out which kind they'd like then come back to this room to grab the tea for them. If they like you, I bet they'll tell you stuff that helps us find the food thief. So it looks like there's four different types. Over here are the different kinds of tea. Pour some into your cup and bring it to them. Easy, right? But remember, you can only carry one cup of tea at a time. And if you bring a guest the wrong tea, you'll have to come back and try again. Got it? I think so. Why don't you practice on Rupert? Bring him a cup of his favorite tea. The Sila Berry Special. Ooh, and one more thing. See this sink up here? Yup. If you accidentally get the wrong tea and you're still here, you can just pour it out into this sink. Got it. Okay, go bring Rupert that Sila Berry Special tea. Apricot Vanilla, no. Candy Cup. No. Rose. No. This is a Sila. Pour a cup of the Sila. Okay. What now? This had better be important. Serve Rupert the tea. Is this the Sila Berry special you brought me? Delicious. Yay, you did it! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important. I have to tend to some important business. Sugar baby, Fuji. Oh my God! The apple's name is Fuji. Okay. I'm heading to the party rooms. I'll be there if you need me. Good luck and stay out of trouble. Yes, sir. You're all ready. The party is being held in the rooms to your left. Now, get out there and serve some tea. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. I'm so ready. I trust that the buns are warm this time. Yes, sir. My Mr. Rupert, very warm buns. Good, because we don't serve cold buns here. Little butt. 
Hey, hey, hey. Cold buns. Oh my god. Yeah. You there. What are you doing over there? Uh-oh. I'm out of here. Wait. What did you do? Get back here now. Is that a... There's a poop? Oh my god. What the crumble? No! Oh my god. The tea party will be ruined. He lost his freaking wig. Okay, so now we get to actually walk around and talk to people. Hopefully we can talk... Let's talk to this person first. Can I get you any tea today? Oh, I'm quite full at the moment, so no. The tea was absolutely delicious, though. The buns, on the other hand, were a bit on the cold side. Can I get you any tea? I have plenty of tea right here, thank you. I do, however, wish someone would refill the dirt bowl. I mean, who doesn't like a bit of dirt in their tea now and then? Dirt? Mmm, dirt. Can I get you any tea today? Mom says I'm too young for tea, but that's okay. I only like cake anyway. Strawberry cake is my favorite. Can I get you any tea? Oh, tea server, I'm looking to try something bold. Oh dear, not this again. Excuse me? How bold do you need to be, Nettie? I mean, you're already wearing a hat that has flowers on it. What's wrong with flowers? My dear, we are flowers. Your point? Oh, that gives me a fantastic idea. Tea server, could you please bring me a tea that has some sort of flowers in it? Goodness. Okay, so she wants something with flowers. Now we just need to figure out which one has freaking flowers in it. Okay, that one's Sila Berry. Rose is on a taboo blend of black tea and rose petals. Okay, that one's perfect. Pour a cup of that. Take it to the ladies. There you go. Ooh, did you bring me something bold? Please enjoy. Oh, this is just perfect. The aroma, the subtle sweetness, it's so taboo. Disgusting. Oh, Minerva, live a little. We are cousins who are rose. Well, we have cousins who are roses. He successfully served tea to a guest. Such good tea, and such a delightful tea server you are. You're too generous with praise, Nettie. Don't give him a big head now. Although, this child is worlds better than Maxwell. Maxwell? Don't you mean little buds? Uh huh. Ugh. Oh. Is that what that little hooligan is calling himself nowadays? Little bu little buds? He's a hooligan. End of story. His father was kind enough to get him a job working here, but the child doesn't appreciate it. He runs around playing practical jokes on folks, putting frogs in teapots, and drawing crass things on the walls. If, I were, if it were up to me, that child would be sent away to a boarding school in the lands of the cave buds. Okay. So that was the first guest. Let's see about this person. Can I get you any tea? No, thank you. I'm quite content with these little sandwiches. How about you? No, thank you. I'm just analyzing the pieces of art on these walls. Do you think the Monsieur lo longs to dance the way those two are dancing in the lighthouse? Oh, dear God. Look at that monstrosity in the top left. I'm assuming that's the Monsieur. Good Lord. Okay. We need to find more guests. Here's a few more. Okay. Can I get you any tea? Oh, no, no. The, I'm only interested in the desserts. Actually, uh... Are you okay? I had three donuts. Ooh, that's a lot of donuts. And half an apple pie. Like, half of a whole pie? A cheese plate, a box of chocolates, three more donuts, and a hamburger. Oh my gosh. They have hamburgers here? You gotta help me, man. 
Desmond is not okay. I'll try my best. Is there something I can get for you? Uh, well, I think I'm in pain because I ate too much fatty food. Do you have a tea that would help cut the fat a bit? You know, balance the heaviness out? Hmm, I got it. Mom said that the puer tea helps balance out the heaviness of desserts. Yeah, puer tea. That's what I need. Bring me some of that. Please. Uh, I don't know my pe I didn't know my petals could stretch like this. Okay. So we need some of the puer. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I'm probably like butchering somebody's pride and joy of tea. My wife will probably kill me. She probably knows what I'm talking about. Alright, so we need to find the puer. Candy cat puer. Pour a cup of it, yeah. Alright, so let's take this over there. And I'm gonna drink some straight water in the meantime and pretend it's puer. Perfect. Did you bring me some puer tea? I need it. I need it. Alright. Please enjoy. Oh, sweet relief. Desmond's gonna be okay. Alright, we successfully served tea to a guest. Wow. Now I know how Monsieur Bud must feel. What do you mean? Well... Rumor has it that back in the day, when the Monsieur wasn't yet such an impressive size, he was dating one of the regulars here, a bud named Minerva. Minerva? She's cranky, wears a hat with a black bow, I think she's in the other room right now. Anyways, the Monsieur ate so much and grew so big and so tall that he could no longer see or hear her. And that was the end of that relationship. Alright. So we got a little bit more info. Music is so good. What a delightful pianist. He plays with so much emotion. Is that a sunflower? Hey, you're working here now too. Yeah, it's my first day on the job. Well, welcome aboard. One warning though. This place is weird. What do you mean? You'll see. Sometimes I like to change things up and play something more upbeat. The danger in that the buds can start blooming when the music is too good. Blooming? Blooming? You know, our petals open and we turn into flowers. And let me tell you buds, do not like that. A bloomed bud is considered uncouth around here. We're not in, that, in the garden anymore. This here is high society. Alright, let's see what's up here. Splendid party, wouldn't you say? I think my favorite thing is the mons is the Monsieur Bud artwork. He just has such striking features, don't you think? Can I get you any tea? It's about time someone came to take my order. The last tea was not nearly strong enough for me. I'm looking for a black tea, perhaps something with fruit. Okay, a black tea with fruit. Is that like the Sila tea? Because the Sila berries, right? Alright, so hopefully I don't screw this one up. Alright, so let's see what this one is. Apricot, vanilla, bright flavors of seasonal apricot, pear nice, it was sweet. Vanilla black tea. Okay, so that one actually is it because apricots a fruit, right? So apricot vanilla. There we go. Let's hope this is right because otherwise it's a long walk on the way back And then that's Minerva up, up at the top with the white hat and the black bow And then eventually we'll be able to go and talk to uh, The Monsieur Alright, let's see. Ooh, did you bring me a good fruit flavored black tea? Off for the guest. Please enjoy. Yes, this is exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. You successfully served tea to a guest. See, uh, 
Let's see. T server. You look like a bright young fellow with functioning eyes. Tell me something, will you? Okay. Is it just me or is there an apple working here? An apple? Yes, an apple. An apple who has clearly painted himself pink in an attempt to look like a sky bud, but he's not fooling me. Is Dorlando talking about his apple conspiracy theories again? He's an apple. Sure, sure, and I'm a banana. Ugh. Okay. Let's see if there's anything down below. Where does this go? Sugar baby, you did a great job today. Time to turn in. You guys can sleep in my room tonight. Where am I? Oh, I was like, where the hell am I? <clears throat> I think your mom wants to talk to you. Everyone told me that you did a great job today. How was your day? It was great fun. I've never seen so many tea supplies in all my life. They had barrels upon barrels of tea leaves, pieces of fruit, and chocolate. Dried flowers and herbs, bottles of essence from all over the world, fresh cream. It was fantastic. Alfred let me invent several new blends. Twas a pleasure, ma'am. You are without a doubt a true tea specialist. Ever okay, ready for bed? Sounds good. I'm exhausted. Alright, so then do we just go straight? Is that pink paint? Is that pink paint running down your back? Oh, so you like asking questions about things. I love things. That's great. Things are great. Questions are totally great. It's just, it kind of looks like there's pink paint on your back. Oh no, that's not paint. That's lotion. Pink lotion. You know, for my petals. All sky buds use it. Uh, how are you? Me? Um, I'm good. Woke up this morning and brushed my sky bud petals, ate a traditional sky bud breakfast, read a book on sky bud history. You know, typical things that a typical sky bud would do. Uh, good. I'm good. All right. It was a pleasure working with her. Okay, so now we can move around. Let's see, that door is locked. How do we go around? Is there any going around? Okay, party rooms have been locked. If you're ready, oh, okay, that's why. We're ready. Okay, I'll meet you in my room. There we go. Hey guys, you can sleep here for the night, but where will you sleep? I can stay with Rupert tonight. He's a little stressed out, so I think he'd benefit from my company anyway. Did you guys find out anything about the food thief yet? I've got a few leads. Oh, that's great. I knew I could count on you. Well then, get some rest and we'll continue our investigation in the morning. Awesome. This part of the game is freaking sweet. Want to hop into bed and I'll get the lights? All right. All set. I'm good. Good night, dear. Good night, Mom. Ooh, the thief is at it again. What the heck? Bob, did you hear that? I did. It sounded like it came from the kitchen. I think we should we should go investigate. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go to the kitchen. Oh, mom, what was that? I don't know, dear, but it sounded like it was coming from up ahead. Should we keep going? We gotta press on if we want to find out who this thief really is. Is it, I, I'm guessing, is it the Monsieur?
That is a fridge. Holy crap. That's the biggest refrigerator I've ever seen. Is he locked inside? Uh, what's in there? I don't know, dear, but you better stay close to me. It's the Monsieur! Oui! <laughs> Goodness gracious. Monsieur, have you been sleep eating again? Oui. So it was the Monsieur all along. Mystery solved. I knew you guys could do it. Well, I suppose that's a huge weight off my shoulders. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, you're here. We're all delighted you can make it, especially the Monsieur. Oui, thank you. In exchange for helping us solve our little problem... <laughs> Maxwell? Sorry, Dad. We should love... We would love to repay you somehow. As you know, we're all sorts of... We're... We've... Oh, we've... We've all sorts of specialty items from around the world. So, just say the word and it's yours. Well... There is one thing we'd, we'd really like. Oh? Would the Monsieur try a sample of our tea? It's actually our friend Kazuko's tea. But it's the best tea in all the forest. Hmm. The best tea, you say? While I find that incredibly difficult to believe, I will permit this request. Pending one thing. I will need to sample the tea first. You know, for safety reasons. Oh, but of course. We have plenty to share. Well, in that case, I should be able to permit your request. Where is this tea of which you speak? Right here, sir. You pour Rupert a cup of, from the gourd of midnight tea. That flavor, it's so... So good! Oh my god, he bloomed. Don't worry, this happens a lot. He'll come back once he composes himself and grabs another wig. He has more powdered wigs than Bud... Bud Thoven. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Where was I? Ah, uh, yes. So this tea is very high quality indeed. You have you have my permission to share it with Monsieur Bud. Ooh, hey. new table for me. Yes, Monsieur, a very delightful blend from. Where is this tea from again? It's from Kazuko at the Midnight Tea Shop. It's from the Midnight Tea Shop, sir. I love it. We must get more. Amazing. The Monsieur likes it. Needless to say, we are all very impressed. Rest assured, we will be buying lots of tea from this midnight tea shop. Yay. Thank you so much. Thank you. You and your mother are both welcome here anytime. Thank you, Rupert. I'm really gonna miss you guys. You're like, well, you're like the cousins I never had. The cousins you never... The cousins that are my cousins. My, my real cousins. Hmm. So don't be strangers, okay? Come visit us anytime. You can't... You can stay in my room. Oh, and here's a little present. Something to remind you of the Skylands. You received a celestial marble. So now we have two. Farewell, strange creatures from across the sea. See you later, sugar baby. Okay, seriously though, this has been like my top part of this game so far. This this part's been freaking hilarious. All right, so we've gotten every single resource that we could off of here. We should be able to build a pickaxe now. 
clear the way, be able to talk to that dragon. And then we'll be progressing and hopefully we'll be able to find out a little bit more about Kisaburo. Right? Oh, I was like, where is the beanstalk? But it's right here. Perfect. Alright, so we've got that now. So, from here, we have to go back down, right? Crap, did I... Is it that we go down? Is that right? To the southwest? And then... I feel like that's the right way. But we need to talk to Jackie first. Talk to Jackie, get the pickaxe, and then we should be able to be good to go. Alright, Jackie. Get us a pickaxe. One moment, please. Boom. Got a pickaxe, baby. Here is your new pickaxe. Let's get out of here. Alright, so now we can clear rocks away. That should open up quite a bit of area for us. We can clear the way here. I don't know what this does yet. But we'll clear it anyway. So it wasn't the southwest, but let's see where this goes. It's the water dragon. Okay. We needed to come here anyway. It probably leads over to the other area. What brings you to my domain? Whoa. What are you staring at, child? I'm sorry, it's just I've never seen a real dragon before. Well, that's because we are not very common around these parts. You're so cool. Yes. Tell me, child, what is it that you need? Do you have dragon ash? I can make dragon ash, if that's what you mean. I am a dragon, after all. How do you make it? Is it hard to do? You're just full of questions, aren't you, child? Sorry. It's quite all right. Dragon ash is the byproduct of dragon fire. Of course, we all have different kinds of fire. Mine is really more like ice. It's not difficult to do, however. Creating fire requires a lot of concentration. And your natural element, mine being water, must be in balance. Oh, I see. Unfortunately, if you haven't noticed, things around here have not been in balance lately. Besides, the increase in negative energy coming from the envoy, I can sense that something's blocking the flow of water. If something isn't done, the whole forest could go into a massive drought. That's terrible. I know. Hmm. Maybe we could help clear away whatever's blocking the water. If we did that for you, would you make us some dragon ash? Huh. You really want that dragon ash, don't you? It's for our friend, Kazuko. She said it would help her flower bloom. Oh, is that right? Kazuko certainly does know a thing or two about gardening. She's trying to grow a hikaribana, isn't she? Yes, how'd you know? Oh, a dragon knows many things. Okay, then. If you clear that waterways, I'll make you some dragon ash for Kazuko. Thank you. Take this. If there are boulders blocking the flow of water, you should be able to strike it with this. You received some scale flint. But be careful, scale flint is known to cause large reactions. To get to the water blockage, you might try going through that door up there. Good luck. Okay, cool. So, we just gotta unblock the waters. And then we should be basically good to go, right? So, let's check up here. Or maybe we're unblocking the waters. Use the scale flint. Here goes nothing. And run. Okay. Cool. Great job. Okay. Was that it? Hopefully that's all we had to do. We did it. My sources tell me that you got the job done. We did. But there were boulders blocking the water, but we cleared them out. Impressive. Well, now that things are in order, I think I should uphold my end of the bargain. One moment, please.
Well then, here you go. You received Dragon Ash. See to it that Kazuko grows that flower to its fullest potential. It means a lot to her, you know? Tell me, child. Do you know why Kazuko is gro growing the Hikaribana? I'm not sure. Here in the forest, the Hikaribana is a symbol of great love. They say it has the power to bring loved ones together. To heal, to bond, to help find someone who has been lost. Oh. Perhaps Kazuko is trying to remind her husband of their love, for she feels he has forgotten her. He hasn't forgotten her. He mentions her all the time. Yes, but she does not know that. They have not spoken in ages. They haven't? Kisaburo's sickness has weakened his mind. He's disoriented, and he, he can't tell day from night. His speech is nonsensical. It's amazing that he's able to communicate with you, child. I see. That's why it is a noble thing you are doing, helping someone who cannot reach out themselves. Good luck, and may you find your own path to happiness as well. Thank you, Stormy. Okay, so then that's straight through here. Now we can break through all these rocks. I don't think we get any item like rocks-wise, do we? No, nah, we don't get any rocks or anything. Okay, so I'm going to save it here while I'm thinking about it. Let's finish this out, finish this episode out strong. I think we've been going for about an hour, more or less. And I think that this should be close to the end for this chapter, I would think. Okay, we shared your tea. How'd it go? It went great. They all loved... Look who it is. Welcome, and what do I owe the pleasure of a visit from Rupert? Milady, the monsieur sends his highest regards. He loved the sample of tea you gave him. We all did. That is so, that is wonderful to hear. If it's all right with you, the monsieur would like to place a rather large order within the coming week. Of course it's all right with me. I will begin preparations immediately. You are always welcome to join us for afternoon tea in the Skylands. As soon as I have free time, I would love to join all of you. Thank you. It's so cool. Thank you so much for your help. I'm more confident now that folks around the forest will know of the Midnight Tea Shop. All right, and we got the Dragon Ash. Oh, you got the Dragon Ash. Thank you so much. Well then, I think it's time for me to get to visit Kisaburo at the Hot Springs. Now that the Hikari Bana has some Dragon Ash to help it bloom, perhaps I can finally bring it to him as a gift. Oh, he's gonna love that. Actually, on second thought, why don't we all go together? I'm sure that my husband will want to personally thank you both for helping us out with the shop. That sounds great. Alright then, let's go. Oh goodness. Where did he go? Kisaburo? Where did he go? Kisaburo, where are you? I'm so sorry, you two. I was hoping we could all spend some time together with Kisaburo, but I'm honestly not sure where he went. I'm going to look for him, so please feel free to do whatever you'd like. Thanks again for all your help. Okay. Oh, okay, so we have a door. Mom, look. You found another door. Where do you think it leads? Hmm. Only one way to find out. Okay, so we're back at the hospital. Where, where are we? Oh. I'm this lady. Is is that his wife? Kisaburo, can you tell me what year it is? I don't have time for this. I have to fix this order before my su supervisor gets back. Kisaburo, I want you to try to focus on my voice. Can you tell me where you are right now? What kind of question is that? I have to fix the power lines. 
I think we're going to have to run some more tests. I'll set something up with the lab this afternoon. Sounds good. Are you just going to keep talking? Oh, talking. Are you just going to keep taking my tools away from me? Hello, dear. I brought you some of your favorite snacks. I thought it might help to... Who are you? Unauthorized people aren't supposed to be here. It's dangerous. Oh, Kisaburo. So he doesn't even remember his wife. It's me. It's your Kazuko. Did the supervisor send you? Are you here to cover the night shift? Damn, that's depressing. Kisaburo, do you remember this flower? We really don't have much time. If I don't get the power back up, the boss is not going to be happy. You don't remember, do you? So now we're going to learn about the flower. Why it's important. Hey, Kisaburo. You've certainly been visiting a lot these days. Who, me? I, uh... I just really like the bread. Yeah, sure, sure. Whatever you say, buddy. Miss Kazuko, these desserts are lovely. Thank you. Please let me know if you need anything else. Haha. <laughs> Stop it, Nobu. She'll hear you. Well, what are you waiting for? Go talk to her. I'm going, I'm going. I, um... Oh, hello, Kisaburo. Kazuko, oh wow, I, I didn't know you were working today. Ha! Ah. <laughs> well, um... We have some new red bean manju if you'd like to try them. Oh, I'd, I'd love to. Kisaburo? Oh, sorry, I, I just... I just... I brought you a gift. Aw, a gift? That is so nice of you. Okay, close your eyes. And the flower. Alright, you can open them. Oh, Kisavor, how lovely. A beautiful flower for a beautiful lady. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, you're such a smooth talker. I'm not just being smooth. So smooth. I really mean it. I would bring you flowers until we were old and gray and couldn't remember things anymore. Is that so? I'm certain of it. Give him a break, Kazuko. The poor guy was pacing outside for 20 minutes before he came in here. No, boo! Aw, oh, you poor thing, you must be so thirsty. I'll bring you some tea to go with that dessert. Well, I definitely can't say no to that. That's really sweet, actually. The fact that he doesn't remember anything anymore is, like, freaking depressing. Uh, Kisaburo, dinner's ready. I just put the baby down for her nap so we can have a bit of quiet time. Kazuko, you only get one day off, but you still work so hard in the garden. What are you planning out here? Is it those radishes? What are you planting out here? Is it those radishes you got from the... I, uh... Did you plant all these? Well, I... Yep. Those flowers. Do you like them? That's the flower you gave me when I worked at the bakery. Kisabur, of course I like them. I can't believe you remembered. 
I'm yours, Kazuko. I always will be. Did we help him remember even a little bit? The flowers are in bloom again. Kimiko. Mom? I guess that's his kids. Are you still here? Oh, Mom, you must be exhausted. You need to go home and get some rest. The doctors will call you if anything or it happens. Sorry. Uh, I'm not leaving. Then at the very least, will you please eat something? I will. We're going to go turn in some of the paperwork. Mom, it's going to be okay. I know. I just need some time with him is all. Call us if you need anything. I will. Okay, Sabora, is there any of you left in there? That's freaking sad, man. So we like to garden. That should do it. Did he just collapse? Dear, I brought you some water to help you cool down. You've been working so hard on your garden that... Kisaboro? Kisaboro, can you hear me? So he just collapsed one day, working too hard. Kazuko, get some rest, my dear. I think the baby's crying. It might be time to change his diaper. What? The baby. Don't you hear that? Honey. Our babies are all grown up. Right. All grown up. Try to get some sleep. Damn. So I guess he had like a heat stroke or something and then lost partial memory. Where is he? What's going on in there? They're closing in on us. Who's closing in? What are you doing? Hey you, why are you still here? We've been dismissed. Can't you see we're under attack? Kisabura, please get off the table. You're going to hurt yourself. What's going on in here? The supervisor gave us all orders to leave. We have to go now. Dad, what are you doing? Go get help. I'll try to stop him from breaking anything else. Mom, it's not safe for you. I'll be fine. Just go. Ma'am, I know you want to care for your husband, but at this point, he's a danger to you. I am not afraid of my husband. Mom, you can't do this to your, do this by yourself. Reiko's right. Dad needs constant supervision. It's just too much for you, Mom. When he could still talk with me, he told me that if he got worse, he'd prefer to stay in his own home. I just want to honor that. Mom, I don't mind staying up all night. I can prepare all the meals in advance and make sure to... Mom, Dad doesn't even remember you. I'm sorry, Mom. It's just, this is better for both of you if Dad doesn't stay here anymore. I know. You're right. Okay. We can move him in the morning. Damn. Okay. Do we still have... Okay. Kisaburo. What's it like in there? Inside your head, I mean. Are you scared? Do you feel any pain? Do you still remember anything about yourself or about your life before all this happened? Please, tell me you remember something. 
anything. That's odd. I could have sworn that door was boarded up when I got here. Kazuko? So now he's getting up out of bed. Nice. So they're going to meet here? Where could he have gone? The flowers floating away. No, I have to find him. So now she's in the water. The hot spring. Is the flower going to take him? Take her to him? It is. He's been growing flowers all along. Kisaburo. I was so worried. I looked everywhere for you. I... Oh my goodness. Did you plant all of these? Well, I, um... Yep. <laughs> oh, Kisabor. Do you like them? Of course I do. Nothing's happening. The music's playing, so I'm guessing it's okay. Is there a song coming? My love, oh my only, you're everything to me. I have tried all my life to be just what you need. Some Times it may seem I'm a million miles away, but my dear, I've been here and always will be yours. Well, that was better than the last one, I can say that much. At least I didn't laugh in this one. You received Mori no Kokoro Part 3. So that should be the end of Kisaworo's. Oh wow, he's actually just been planting flowers in the back all this time. That's why he sneaks away. So we got 3 out of 5 done, guys. Two more people to help. And then the conclusion of the game, I'm assuming. I just wanted to say or to thank you both again. Times have been tough, but I'm going to try my best every day. We have a saying in the world of tea, one time, one meeting. <laughs> Basically, this could be the first and last time we ever meet. The first and last chance, the first and last moment. So let's make it the best it can be. Take care, my friends. What are we being given? Anything? No? Mom, there's a door in the tea shop. I wonder, if this one leads back to the hospital, let's go check it out. Alright. So, Uma. Doo de doo, the big pipe's connected to the small pipe. The small pipe's connected to the big drain. Big drain's connected to the... Oh, hey guys. Hi, Uma. What is that thing? Oh, you mean this thing? 
it's a water pump. They use them to drain the water back when the lower floors and the hospital got flooded after the, well, you know. Yeah. There's a few more around here. I'm trying to find them. Why are you looking for them? I like you kids, so I'm going to be real with you. We both know there's something special about this place. I've seen you wander watering random plants, making the beanstalks grow, talking to bears and water people. How did you know these worlds are connected? You know this as well as I do. These devices, well they seem to drain more than just the water that used to be here in the hospital. Why don't you try it? Maybe it'll open some new paths for you on the other side. Uma? Yeah kid? Why do you keep helping me? Even after I, well, even after I accused you of doing bad things that you didn't even do. Kid, I don't hold that against you. I would have thought those things about me too if I were you. We've all been given our own challenges. Sometimes, while we're working them out, our paths will collide with others who are working on challenges of their own. We help each other more than we know. It's time for me to go now. I think my time's running out. But you hang in there, okay? Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. I have no idea what that means. Turn the, on the water pump to start draining water. Sure. Alright. Where the hell are we now? We found 25 gold. Anything else in here other than flipping toilet lids? Okay, so we can water this plant now. Alright, so is it healthy? Okay. Found Lil Bud's Remix CD. Oh my god. Open the cabinet. You found 25 gold. Okay, that looks like that's everything in this room. Oh, so that was the top room that we couldn't get into before. Okay. So... I think I will leave this episode right here. I'm going to save real quick. So I'm going to end this episode here, guys. We will continue this story in episode 6. Episode 6 coming up. So uh, not sure who we're going to be helping yet, but I look forward to continuing the journey, continuing this gameplay. Um, thank you guys so much for coming along so far. It's been a pleasure. This has been my absolute favorite episode so far, in-game wise. Um, so thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.